All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Allah Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And a shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, it's going to be based upon the uh, strikes that have been, uh, this video is going to be based upon the strikes that have been going on across the, the globe. It's not just here in America, Babylon the Great. This is a global thing because first and foremost, Job 9 and 24 tells you that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? The wicked is ruling Esau, Edom, per Malachi 1 and 4. Esau, Edom is at the head of all these nations and all these nations, the, all these other heathen nations are a confederate with Esau, Edom. They all gave consent unto the beast for a time. They're all in agreement, you know? You know, uh, you, you heard a Carl, Carl Schwab said that um, China is the perfect model for, for how they want things to be, the new world order. So all these nations, they're in cahoots. They're all with these unrighteous decrees. They're all ruling wickedly, you know, with unjust weights, so on and so forth. OK, you know, they're oppressing the people. OK, and the people are tired of being oppressed. All right. Which I'm going to bring out the scriptures. But, yeah, that's what this lesson is going to be about. All the strikes that have been going on, and they, they're increasing, you know. So this is um, an article that I saw on the um, AP News. I think that's the Associated Press, and it's um, based upon strikes. So, I mean, it's a plethora. I could keep going for days. So I'm just going to go through some of them, and then I'll hit the scriptures and I'll close out. So it says uh, strikes, right? It says more than 150 agents back striking HarperCollins workers. That was from yesterday. Right. I guess Harper Collins is a publishing group, I guess I'm assuming. It says a uh, railway workers in Austria to strike Monday in pay standoff. That's from November 27th, uh, 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Turn it up. It says railway workers in Austria are set to hold a one day strike on Monday after a failed round of tar talks in pay negotiations. The Austria press agency uh, reported Sunday that both sides said the fifth round of talks on pay for some 50,000 employees of the 65 railway operators include the main national operator OEBB have failed and then you got uh, teachers lectures join postal workers in UK strike action November 24th 2022 uh, Salaki what's this ad what the hell is this the hell is this Salakia, man? Fucking Satan, man. Okay, here we go. Salakia, Salakia. <laughs> um, where where was I? It says um, a rail strike looms and impact. A rail strike looms and impact on U.S. economy could be broad. November twenty second, twenty twenty two, and they're saying that they're they're not even coming to um an agreement. So I think they said Dece December fourth they're gonna strike. You know. They're all in agreement, you know, if one strikes, they're all going to strike in, in the U.S. as far as the railroad workers. Um, it says a Starbucks workers strike at more than 100 U.S. stores November 17th, 2022. Um, let's see what else. U.S. Uh, that's not that's not that's not one. It says day two of academic workers strike at University of California, November 15th, 2022. And, and the reason why these people have to strike is because um, the economy, uh, the, the inflation is setting in. Everything is going up, you know, so they can't, you know, the cost of living is going up, you know, so they can't afford to pay their bill, pay their bills, man. You know, you know, the ends are meeting, you know, globally, you know, this is a uh, 48,000 University of California academic, academic workers on strike. I think I read that already. I read that already about the the Par the Harper Collins. Uh, it says Paris Metro workers strike for wage hike disrupt commute 
P Paris Metro workers strike for wage hike disrupt commutes. That was November 10th, 2022. Damn, damn ads, man. Did I skip it? Okay, here we go. Um, potential railroad strike delayed until early December. That's what they were saying. The, the deadline is December 4th. Um, inflation strikes disrupt trains, flights in Greece, Belgium. As a matter of fact, you had, I think you had, um, a bunch of, um, I, I was reading, I'm surprised it's not on here. You had, um, the Amazon workers globally striked, you know, some of the Amazon workers in America, some of the States in America, they went on strike Germany, you know, in different countries, they, they went on strike during black Friday, you know? Um, what else you got? Belgian strike over cost of living. See, cost of living is going up, man, everywhere. The food is going up. Inflation is setting in, you know. You, your utility bills are going up, you know. Gas is going up. You know, the ends are meeting, you know. It says Belgian, Belgian strike over cost of living hits traffic companies. November 9th, 2022. Brussels Associated Press. AP, a nationwide strike over the cost of living increases caused by runway inflation, by run, it's like it caused by runaway inflation, because inflation is going to ultimately lead to hyperinflation, you know, and then uh, you got these different food shortages on the different uh, victuals, the different foods, eggs, milk, bread, butter, shit like that, you know, supply and, supply and demand. When the supply goes down, the demand, the, the, the price goes up. The demand increases. You see, you see, you got. Um, I, I read. A, I read a report that said um, they're about to kill more, even more uh, birds over here in America, over the so-called bird flu. You know, so you know that's more shortages. You know, so hey, man, horrific times are coming. Evil times, perilous times. You know, perilous times on the horizon, and the people are about to snap. You see it. Oh, you got the idea, man. I mean, I could keep going. I could keep going, man. Over in all these strikes, man. And it's not just here in America. It's, it's global. It's globally, man. All right? You see? I could keep going over and over. I could keep going, man. You know? So, um, let's hit the scriptures. I don't want to make this long. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, who are the righteous? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and his people, his chosen people. Israel, Yasharala. You tribes, but we're not in the power seat right now. We're yet this day in captivity, as it says in Baruch. All right, you know we're we're um under the curses. We're being punished for our disobedience right now. The earth is given into Esau Edom's hand. He's the wicked, and he's been ruling wickedly. All right, so it says when the righteous are in authority, Yasharala, right, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, who's the wicked? Esau Edom per Malachi one and four. And he's ruling wickedly, unrighteous decrees. He's oppressing the people. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that's why they're 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 striking left and right. Suicide is at an all time high, you know? Drug use is at an all time high. Alcohol abuse, alcoholism is at an all time high. Because the people are oppressed and they're they're looking for an escape. They're looking for an escape from this nightmare, from reality. You know? You know? This is Job 9 and 24. I quoted it. The earth is given, the whole entire inhabited earth, the whole world, right? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set this devil up over us. He put the bases of men over us, you know, so that we would consider our ways and, and repent and seek him, you know, you know. This is the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Esau, Edom, per Malachi 1 and 4. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. The true judges of the earth, all right, which is Yasharala, all right. If not, where and who is he, all right? This is um, and like I said, that's the curse. That's part of the curses, man. We have to go to this devil and want of all things, man. You know, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and twenty-nine, and thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. At the end of the day, we can't outrun these curses, man. At the end of the day, the curses eventually overtake us. That's why as a nation, I, I don't even know one Israelite. I can't think of one Israelite that has so-called generational wealth. And we've been so-called free for, for a while now. All right. 
But yet, some for some way, shape, or form, the curses always catch up to us eventually. You know, no matter how high we climb up that ladder, we always end up falling right back to the bottom. You know, it says, and thou, because that's because we're not, we weren't make, we weren't, we weren't brought here to make it. We weren't brought to the Americas to prosper, man. We were, we were brought here as a punishment. You know, to repent and seek the Lord, man, while He may be found. You know. And that's a cut to you damn, you damn Jakes that, are, you know, Jake don't want to suffer, man. I, when I say Jake, I'm talking about Jacob, all right, whose name was changed to Israel. You Jakes, you Israelites, you know, Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel, right? And that's what Jake is short for Jacob. You know, our people don't want to suffer, you know, they're always looking for rest. They're always looking to, they're looking for an escape, man, but you can't escape these curses. The Lord said no man was going to free you. You know, the only one that can free us, that can get us out of these conditions is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's what he's coming. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is about to return and, and, and redeem us. But he's only going to redeem the elect. Two thirds of our own people are going to die here because they refuse to repent. They don't want to be woke and broke. <laughs> you know, you know, hey, the Lord said, love not the world and neither the things that are in it, man. This is not our kingdom. This is not our rest. You know, we're looking for new heavens and new earth. We're in dwell of righteousness, but two thirds of our own people, they don't want to be woke and broke, man. They want to make it here. You know, they want to make it here. They think this is the end all be all. And that's why they trim their ways to seek love. You know, they chase that damn bag. You know, it says Deuteronomy 28 and 29 and thou shalt grope at noonday. And that's what happened. Our people are groping, man. They're looking for, they're looking for support. They're looking for, you know. They're looking, they're looking for something, man. They're looking for answers. They're looking for rest. You know, they're looking for the truth. But the Lord has blinded two thirds of our own people. He's poured out a spirit of deep sleep upon them. They can't find the light, man. They can't find that straight path to the kingdom. They're on that broad path to destruct to destruction, which leadeth to destruction. You see? What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth. Yeah, you're going from philosophy to philosophy. You know, you just completely lost, man. Running from this job to that job. You're running from, from this country to the, you want to leave America, go to Africa. You can't escape these curses, man. You want to, you're running from one religion to another. One, fall, one idol to another idol. One dumb God to another dumb God. There's only one power. That's our power. And he's the only, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he's the only one that can deliver us out of this condition because he put us in this condition. You see? And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Who's the oppressor? Esau, Edom. You know? He's the wicked man. He's the colonizer. You know? And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Look at the conditions that we're in. Look at our people. Look at this generation, man. That we're this this um this these uh G, this uh these GMO babies, man. You can see they're completely destroyed. They're spoiled. All right. You know, Esau has done his job, man. He's completely destroyed our people. Chiefly the men. The men are like the damn the the face of um. That that alphabet lifestyle, man. Anytime you turn on the the, the, the TV, you watching the, you watching commercials. Who's at the forefront of that alphabet alternative lifestyle? Jake men, you Jake men. See how people are destroyed, man. You know, and it says, but that's the curses. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled, spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. And that's what we've been looking for. We've been looking for, uh, you know, f hope and and things. You know, that can't save us, you know, these false leaders, you know, the only one that can save us is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let me hit another verse. Um, I want to hit verse 33. So, um, it says, uh, sort of 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. I, I especially, you know, to this younger generation, they're completely destroyed. A bunch of little nasty exes, and there shall be no might in thine hand. This is the main point, 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, these heathens. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed all way. 
You see, that's the point. Again, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed all way. You see? And that's why, and, and this man is such a devil, he imprisoned not just Yasharala, he imprisoned the whole earth. He imprisoned his own people. And these other heathens followed behind and oppressed their own people. You see? They're all ruling wickedly, you know? They're all following behind this damn devil, you know? You know, this is Haggai one and six, and that's why the people are because are the, the wicked are ruling. You know, chiefly Esau, Edom, he is the wicked, and all his all these heathens are confederate with him, and they're ruling wickedly just like him. And the people are mourning, you know, and they're lashing out, they're striking, and that's why we know there's going to be sedition in the streets. There's, all hell is going to break loose, everything, and, but it's all by design, pressure from above, pressure from below. Order out of chaos. He's bringing in the squeeze. He's bringing the squeeze so that he can bring in the reset. You see, this is Haggai one and six. You have sown much, labored. You know, when you when you sowing in the field, planting seed. That's you're laboring. You're laboring, right? But you know, we the hopeful elect, the hunch stone with the hundred and forty four thousand. We are the Lord's husbandmen. You know, we're we're laboring in this truth, man. You know, that's a, this is our main occupation, pushing this word, giving you this good news, feeding our people, feeding the Lord's sheep, you know, with this this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. But as a whole, though, we're, we're, we all have to work. All right. You don't work. You don't eat. So that's what we're doing. We, we have to. We're su That's part of the curses. We're subject to payments, man. You know, you know. So this is Haggai one and six. You have sown much labored, labored a lot and heavy. You know, we do the worst jobs, man. You know, we don't get a fair, we don't get a fair uh, day's wage, man. You know, we don't, we don't get our just due, you know. You have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into bags with holes. Because it's one thing after the other, man. You know, one bill after the other. Subject to payments, man. You know, you, you pay, as soon as you pay your rent, your light bill's due. As soon as you pay your light bill, your cable's due. Your, 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 your gas bill is due. You know, um, your car breakdown. You know, you got to fix your car. You got to get your car serviced. You got to pay your insurance. You got to pay your registration. You got to pay this bill. You got to pay that bill. You got to pay your taxes. You see, it's always something, man. You know, that's why Jake have a saying, when it rains, it pours. You know, and that's by design. Esau Edom has you on this perpetual hamster wheel. You'll own nothing and love it. That's part of the new world order. You know, that's that's the end game. You know, you're going to be a perpetual slave, you know, you know. So, again, Haggai, and that's why the people are striking. The people are tired, man. They're tired of being oppressed, you know. This is Haggai 1 and 6. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you're not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. All right. And that's what that's what it is. Because why? This is not our rest. Talking about you don't want to be woke and broke. Hey, man, we're yet to stay in captivity. <laughs> this is a punishment for our disobedience, man. Now is the time to seek the Lord, to consider our ways, to repent. You know, behold, I mean, it's like a Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, look, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us. So no matter where we're at, the bulk of us, we're in the Americas, right? You know, but we're scattered also amongst the four corners of the earth. You know, we're scattered amongst all the heathen, you know, and we're being oppressed. We're in captivity wherever we're at, man. You see, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be what? Subject to payments. Because all these heathens, they're, they're ruling just like Esau Edom, man. You know, they got you on that perpetual hamster wheel. You know, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord, uh, from the Lord Adawan, our power, Yahweh. Okay. And that, that's why we're in the conditions that we're in. We were put here to repent. You see? But guess what? Our redemption is nigh. This is our last bid. This is our last captivity. You see? You see? That's the good news. This is the, you know, we, we're, uh, affliction is not going to rise a second time. You know? You know? 
Hey, Lamentations 4 and 22, that, um, what he said, uh, thou shalt no more be carried away into captivity. He's going to visit Esau Edom. He's going to remember her sins. You see, that's the good news. And that's, you know, that's what we come to tell our people. You know, this is but a light affliction. We're going to be able to finally rest, man. But only a remnant is going to return, man. You know, only a remnant is going to return. That again, uh, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for as a whole, right? But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord, this is good news, the gospel. For the Lord, Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. We're not going to be in this condition forever, man. Our redemption draweth nigh. Each day that passes is a day closer to the kingdom. The joy of the hypocrite is only for a short time, for a moment, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set the bounds which this devil can't pass. And he knows that. That's why he's going to come down with great wrath, knowing that he have but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. Like I said, you jakes, man, but you don't want to suffer. You don't want to repent. You don't want to go through that straight gate. You know, two thirds of you. Only the elect are going to repent. Okay? For the Lord, yeah, and the Lord is going to have mercy upon us. You know? For turning back to him, for putting in him, for putting him in remembrance, you know, for bringing our bodies into subjection, for putting on, put, for putting on as the elect, we're gonna uh, a reward is coming, a reward for the righteous and a reward for the wicked, for the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, right, which is what the land of Palestine, you see, that's a future prophecy, and and which is quickly coming to pass. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And that's talking about the uh, the Israelite foreigners, you know, the Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen that may look like some of the heathen, but their seed, their lineage, according to their father, goes back to one of the 12 tribes. All right. He's going to gather all of us, man. You see. It's in verse two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place in the house of Israel. Yasharallah shall possess them, and talking about the other the other nations, all right, the actual Gentiles, the heathens, right, non-Israelites, and the people shall, verse 2 is talking about non-Israelites, actual heathens, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Jehovah for servants and handmaids. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's what we're waiting on. All right. We're going to be set back on high, man, where we're supposed to be. You see, you know, above all these nations and they shall take them captives whose captives there were right now. We're, we're yet this day in captivity. We're in the hand of our oppressors, man. We're in the hands of the heathens, chiefly the, the main heathen Esau Edom. You see, it says, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Who's oppressing us? We're going to rule over them. We're not on top. We're at the bottom. We're a proverb and a byword. We're a reproach, man. That's what it said in Baruch, right? It says, what, I'll read that again in Baruch, matter of fact. It says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are being oppressed, ruled over, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. You see, we're a reproach right now. But Yahweh Shai is about to set us on high. You know, that's the good news. That's the gospel. And it shall come to pass, matter of fact, I'll read that over, verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel, Yasharallah, shall possess them, the heathens, them in the land of the Lord Jehovah, for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Jehovah shall give thee rest, because this is not our rest. Now we got to give diligence, we got to fight, we got to push, you know, we got to labor to enter into the kingdom, to enter into that straight gate, you know, but two thirds of our own people, they don't want to fight, they don't want to push, you know, they're, they're um, hey, uh, you know, which is Judah's a crouching lion, they crouch down, man, you know, he's a home, is Israel a homeborn slave? Yeah, two thirds of our own people are homeborn slaves, man, they love running up and down in that goddamn court for Esau to entertain him. They love, you know, running up and down on that goddamn football field, you know, um, destroying their bodies, you know, giving their all to, to entertain these damn devils, you know, you know, but the elect, we're not of that mind, man. You know, we're just, we're just getting by. We're just biding our time, man. 
because we know our redemption is nigh. The, we, the, the time is quickly approaching when we can finally rest, and that's in the kingdom, all right? It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. Because right now our, our life ha hangs in doubt, man. You know, you know, they hunt it. They hunt our steps. That's what the Lord said. And from that, we cannot go into the streets and from the hard bondage. That's what America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, Egypt representing bondage. Right. And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city, America. The Lord Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked, Esau, Edom, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted. Persecuted by who? By Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He's going to take vengeance upon you damn heathens, you damn devils. And he's not going to meet thee as a man. You know? It says, he... He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, that's why they're striking. They're protesting. They're in an uproar. They're tired. The people are tired of being oppressed. They're mourning. They're lashing out. It says, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The, he's got enough wealth to stop fucking uh, 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 starvation, man. They got, enough, they got enough land. They got enough resources. They got the ability you know, to, 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 you know, to, to, um, sustain the people, you know, but that's not, he wants to rule wickedly. He wants the, the fatness of the earth. He wants the best places. He wants to go, to, you know, he wants the, the finer things and he wants you to have nothing. He wants you to just be a damn slave. You know, it says he that ruled the nations in anger is person. And he's angry or over losing the birthright is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. That's when this devil goes down. The earth is going to rejoice. The fir trees are going to rejoice, man. You know? And that day is quickly approaching, man. You know? A um, couple more and I'll close out. Um, James chapter 5, verse 1. Uh, Elder Apostle Tahar is one of Elder Apostle Tahar's favorite uh, scriptures. Go to now, you rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. I think Elder Apostle Aramla just did a video upon this, man. I saw it pop up, in, pop up in my feed. I didn't get to watch it yet, you know. He, I think he titled it Howl for Your Miseries, you know, you know. That's the spirit. That's the times are coming into you. Devils are going down, man, you know. Rejoice, uh, Lamentations 4 and uh, 21. Rejoice, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz, for the cup shall pass through unto thee. This is your last hurrah, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy your kingdom while you can, you goddamn devils. Because a recompense is coming. You're about to drink double of this cup. The same cup we had to drink, you're going to drink double of it. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. The rust is what? The wickedness. How you obtained it. Riches gotten by deceit. The kingdom is about to be translated from one people to another. All right? It says, and it says, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped together treasures together for the last days. This is the main point that I wanted. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, we have sown much but brought in little. You know, behold, the hire is the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Which is kept, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the Lord of Sabaoth, the Lord of armies, man, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the Lord of hosts. Ye have lived, the Lord hears our cries, the, the cries of the elect, man, the hopeful elect. We're putting him in remembrance, man, and he's about to redeem us. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just. The just is Yasharala, the righteous, and he doth not resist you. It says, be patient, therefore, brethren, the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Our redemption is nigh. But the word patient goes into suffering. We got to endure. Endure hardness as a good soldier for Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You know, be patient, man. Our redemption is coming. The payback, the big payback is coming. You know, all we got to do is hold on. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord Adawan. Behold, the husbandmen, the husbandmen 
waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and have long patience for it. With long, hey, Yahweh Yahweh is long suffering, man, that all may come to repentance until he received the early and latter rain. All right. So, man, our redemption is nigh, baby. Keep pushing, man. We're close. We're close. But, hey, like I said, uh, two thirds of our own people ain't going to repent, man. Only the elect is going to repent. And that's the only ones that we're concerned with. Two thirds of you are going to die here, man. You're going to die in your wickedness. Hosea 5 and 15. This is Yahweh speaking. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. That's why we are brought in the, in, in, chiefly into the Americas. This is why we're the cur this is why the curses overtake us. That's why we're subject to payments. You know, it, it's so that we can acknowledge our offense. We can consider our ways, man. You know, and, and turn back to our power. Yahweh, but you mean Yahweh shy? You see, but only the remnant, or only a remnant is going to return. Hosea five and fifteen. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. But two thirds of you, you don't want to seek the Lord's face. You don't want to acknowledge your offense. You want to keep on keeping on in your wickedness. You know, you don't want to be woke and broke. So you're going to continue gro groping as, <laughs> as the blind and noonday. In their affliction, they will seek me early. But when all hell break loose, then they shall know a prophet have been amongst them. Then you're going to want to get right. But guess what? It's going to be too, too late, man. It's going to be too late, you know. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Um, I'm going to close out here because like I said, only the remnant is going to return. Only the elect. That's all we're concerned with. The elect of Israel. Two parts of this. Two parts of our people are going to cut off, be cut off and die here, man. Two thirds are going to die here. They're going to get to the kingdom through death by pain because they hate Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They loathe his laws, man. You know, you know. They're the same ones that said, let the blood fall upon us and our children. And they're back in their lot to receive their judgment. But the elect, the remnant, we're going to return, man. I don't want to we be of that number. You know, Isaiah chapter 10, I think it's 10, 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, Yasharala, not the all of us, the remnant, right? A, a portion, one third, okay? Starting with 144,000. 12,000 men out of each tribe of Israel, and then you, behind them, you got the one-third, the innumerable multitude of believers, man, the men, women, and children, and it shall come to pass in that day, hey, and the bulk of the bulk of our people going to wake up when we get that power, the spiritual power, and the day of power, our people will be willing, that day is quickly approaching also, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, Yasharala, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, who Esau eat him, all right, you know, he smote the people with a continual wrath, but, but two-thirds of our people trust in this damn devil, they trust in oppression, they trust in Egypt, the shadow of Egypt, all right, but the elect, we're, we're repenting, we're, we're turning back to our power, you know, we're acknowledging our offense, you see, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Yasharala and such as are escaped of the house of Yaquab shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh. We put all our trust in Yahweh, but Yahweh Shai, okay? All our eggs are in that basket, okay? The Holy One of Yasharala in truth. The remnant, again, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, Yaik of Yaquab, unto the mighty power Yahweh. For, thou, for though thy people Israel, Yasharala, be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. That's the point. Only the elect are going to return, not all of us. Two-thirds are going to die, man. They're going to die here because they refuse to repent. They're going to die in their sins. All right? So that's the point, man. That's the point, man. You know? Hey, the people are mourning. The people are mourning because the wicked are ruling. But our redemption is nigh, baby. Our redemption is nigh. Keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa, Abad, Babal, Kwam, Yasharala.